Hello and welcome to a quick look at what's new inside Mocha version 5. One of the biggest changes to the Mocha Pro V5 product line is the addition of a plugin version that applies as an effect inside After Effects and Premiere. This gives you the vast majority of features from the standalone version with the convenience of additional controls for directly manipulating data in your host application. To apply the effect to any source layer in After Effects or Premiere, simply select the effect from the effects menu or panel. This removes the need to load a separate application or set up project files with external clips. You can even apply the effect to compositions and read them in as though they were footage. The effect panel provides a lot of direct control over your Mocha project, but first you must track your source footage using the large Mocha button at the top of the effect. Once inside the Mocha interface, everything is almost exactly the same as you would expect from the standalone package, with full ability to track, roto, render, and export everything you need. One new addition to the interface is the ability to use another layer from the host timeline and manipulate it inside Mocha from the insert clip options. This combined with the revamped insert module means you have more control over how tracked inserts behave and render. Closing your Mocha GUI and saving now provides all the data needed to manipulate it inside After Effects or Premiere. You can then render your insert from the module render section choosing Insert Composite or Insert Cutout. Rendering works in a similar way for all module types. For example, in this remove project inside Premiere, we want to get rid of the wire. Rotoing out the wire inside the Mocha interface and tracking the background, we can then use the remove module either inside Mocha, or go back to the timeline and choose render, and then choose remove. Matte control in the plugin interface is also straightforward, allowing you to quickly define which visible mats you want, and then modifying and applying them. You can even create native masks inside After Effects at a click of a button, rather than having to export them back in the Mocha interface. Finally, for After Effects, you can also create tracking data keys in the plugin by selecting a layer from the Mocha project. This automatically creates keyframe data for five separate control points, which you can then use for powering expressions in the rest of your comp. The Mocha Pro plugin for Adobe is a massively powerful toolset, providing you with key features of Mocha Pro directly via your effects panel. For more information on Mocha V5 and the new Mocha plugins, please visit the website at imaginearsystems.com.